Mountain biking. Millions of humans around the world partake in this activity. Some are actually really good, whereas others, uh, not so much. But some people are really good, like godly good. This jump is considered pretty big, but to some people, this is nothing. Guys like Carson Storch, Emil Johansson, Brett Reeder, Cam Zink, Nikolai Ergatkin, and Brandon Semenik are a few of the riders to have achieved godlike celebrity status in the action sports world. They are the real deal. So that got me thinking, not many normal people like you and I have ever met or even seen riders like this in action. Are they actually superhuman godlike creatures? Well, let's find out and maybe we can expose some of them. I then set off on a quest across the country to find answers and bring you this cinematic masterpiece. What? I then found this strange town. Literally, this town is called that. That's what this town's name is. And then I found this cool lake. I had to stop and reflect. <sighs> you know, I look at a vast, beautiful lake like this, and I think that, you know, a lot of these pro riders, their, their private parts just have to be this large to hit some of the stuff that they do. You know, a normal person like myself, I look at a cliff like that one, or a cliff like that one over there, and I wonder, you know, that looks dangerous. I'm going to not go down that or go anywhere near it for that matter. However, you know, these pro riders, they look at a cliff like that and they think to themselves, you know, you know, I could ride my bike down that. And then they do. God. Although these views were amazing, I needed to get back to business. And in order to fully understand the mind of the pro, I had to immerse myself into their lifestyle. So I found the first bike park and got cracking. Cue the bike edit music. That thing is big right there. It's like a 20 foot drop, but like another like 20 or 30 feet out. And it's pretty intense. Yeah, let's do it. really think I was gonna do it there's no way I'm gonna do this no way did you, did you see how big this is no I'm not gonna hit this all right that's enough riding I mean studying let's get back on the road <laughs> so pretty soon here I'm gonna be meeting up with some of the best riders in the world which means that I need to have a good presentation I gotta smell good I gotta look good you know presentation is key here and um, so that means I'm gonna have to shower or bang a bathe or something like that. And I found the perfect spot for just that. So we have finally arrived. Right behind me is possibly the greatest bike track ever built on the face of the earth. Proving grounds. That right there. So this is no joke, one of the craziest events in the world, and some of the greatest riders of all time, like literal heroes of mine, are going to be like right there riding all that stuff. And I'm going to go and, and talk to them, which I'm really nervous about. I feel like an imposter. This is what's called imposter syndrome, I think, right? But first, before we do that, let's get to business real quick. Oh, no. 
Anyway, for the next couple hours, we watched some of the best riders of all time hitting some of the biggest jumps in the world. Seeing this in person really put in perspective just how much different these guys are compared to the average person. Look out! Bring it on down the line! Into the last jump! That's a super That's a big one, Jeff! Flipping! Yeah. I've been cranking a ton! The moment is coming. Riders are coming down right now, and it is intense. I'm shaking. It's almost time because a lot of the riders have already been signing autographs for a lot of people. Little kids are stoked down there. There's tons of people out here. It's almost time to talk to these guys. So I made my way down to the pits, and nervously, I found my first victim. All right, so I'm here with uh, the Carson Storch. Um, but I know you're in the saunas. I'm into saunas. You're into yeah. saunas. Yeah. Obviously, you're probably gonna take a sauna here at some point after this event, right? Yeah. Let's say that you're at a public gym, right? And they got a sauna there. It's the only sauna you can use, but there's no towels. Yeah. Would you use an old towel from one of those grimy dudes in there, or would you go in bum naked? Yeah. Uh, I'd go naked for sure. You heard it right here. Yeah, now you know. Naked. Yeah, some dirty ass towel is gross. Yeah. Before you go to bed at night, what is one thing you have to do before you absolutely cannot go to sleep? Like you have to do it or else you can't fall asleep. Dude, I'll slam Red Bulls before bed and it's like pretty key or I'll like have a coffee or make sure the, the sheets are clean and make sure the pillow's all dialed in and have a nice night of sleep, dude. Back check over here. Hi. No. Nikolai, got to ask you one question. What is the most embarrassing thing you have ever done in your entire life? Whoa, 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 whoa. You're really putting me on the spot right now. Um... I'll just stop here for a moment and point out that it's pure coincidence that my mullet and beard combo is exactly the same as Nikolai's mullet and beard combo. That's pure coincidence. Nothing else to look into here. All right, let's continue. That is a, that is a super, super difficult question. Honestly, honestly, I don't, I don't, didn't really let anyone know about this, but back in the day, at 26 Tricks, one of my first slope style contest, it was the last practice runs. Thought it was just gonna be a small fart at the top of the rolling, and fully <laughs> my pants, bro. My pants, bro. Oh wow! And then had to run down the wow. course, okay. bathroom, ditched underwear, back to the top. They're like, "Where you been? Like, we've been waiting, we've been looking for you." And I was like, "Oh yeah, I just had to." So yeah. So embarrassing that I didn't let anyone know. That's the, that's the one I can think of right now. There's probably some more embarrassing stuff, but that's the one I'm gonna reveal. So apparently asking their most embarrassing story seemed to be a pretty good question. So let's just stick with it. Oh, this should be embarrassing for the person that I did it to, but because I was responsible for it, I became quite embarrassed. I pantsed my friend Aaron Chase in front of a bunch of people at the Interbike trade show and his underwear came down as well, full frontal. And so like, it's one of those like, oh, oh my God, God I, I did that. that. People are like, your fault, you did that. But then when it's like 14 years later and we're laughing about it over ceviche last night, it's like, it's okay now. Well, your brother said that you're the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened. <laughs> Being related to my brother. Oh. No, I see the look on his face every time I open up my mouth. I get, I, I get uh. how he would say that. <laughs> um, I gotta, I gotta get back to you on that. Okay. Okay, it was in Crankworks, Innsbruck, 2017 or 18. And the camera, they like altered the footage so you couldn't see it. Uh -huh. I did a, a backflip, opposite double tail up, landed. My tire pulled my pants down <laughs> and my Booty. ass was hanging straight out. And <laughs> everyone at the whole venue saw it. It was on the, the broadcast, so people had seen it. I was like trying to play it off like it didn't happen. And that must have been pretty embarrassing, <laughs> honestly. Yeah, yeah, it sucked, it sucked. But I did, I did win, so. This trip taught me many things, each more indistinguishable than the other. Lessons I can bring with me through the rest of my life but which must stay right here. Are these guys superhumans? Yes. Are they really, really cool? Yes. Will they avoid me at all costs moving forward? Most likely. Until then, you know what time it is.